How much performance does overclocking give you playing at higher resolutions? This is Fallout 4, an older game here and running at 5K and everything is maxed out. This is a 3090 with a 350 watt power limit, which is what a normal 3090 has. So right now, as you can see, it is at a 350 watt power limit. It's really struggling because it's the car is essentially out of power, so it's downvolting it. It's undervolting it automatically and downclocking it because it has no more power left. So it's literally forcing itself to operate inside of that 350 watt power limit because this is so demanding, being that it's 5K. It's only getting 79 frames per second, okay? Um, by the way, this is on a 13900K that is at six gigahertz. Not that that's gonna matter much at this resolution, but just so you know, it feels a little wavy moving it around uh, because, you know, it is 5K after all, but still getting 78 frames per second, which is respectable, right, considering. Now, how much faster is this if we overclock it and give it more power? Let's see. All right, so first things first, we're gonna load my profile number one this is gonna give it a power ceiling of up to a thousand watts, and it's gonna boost up the memory and the core. And here we go. All right, so we were getting 78 frames per second, and as you can already see, we're already getting 92. 93 frames per second, 78 to 93. Now, if I do math properly on that, I believe that's 20%. 20% right there, 20% performance boost from overclocking a GPU. And I wanted to make this video because you always see people who are talking about overclocking is pointless. It doesn't give you any kind of real world benefit. You may see one or three frames per second or 3% better performance. That is a lie. People are lying to you. I just squeezed 20% out of a 3090 in a game in the real world right here. I went from 78 frames per second to 93 frames per second. Now, if that's not impressive, I don't know what to tell you. Now, yes, it is drawing 575 watts of power, but hey, it's still running 35 Celsius, so no worries. I hope you guys found this video helpful. You can easily squeeze similar power numbers uh, out of your 3090s as well with water cooling, and a higher power ceiling. So with overclocking, you wanna show the whole picture. Core overclock, memory overclock, and increased power limits, okay? So 20% is absolutely needed because this is much smoother. Much, much smoother. I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.